Are open relationships and polyamory suitable for all women? Why do some women lose interest in sex during menopause? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open relationships and polyamory are not suitable for all women. These relationship structures are personal choices and should be based on communication, consent, and the comfort of all parties involved. During menopause, hormone levels such as estrogen can decrease, leading to changes in vaginal lubrication and sexual desire. Hot flashes and other symptoms can affect interest in sex. However, many women can maintain a satisfying sex life with the help of appropriate therapies and treatments. Adventure and free spirit. Some women are attracted to men who are adventurous and willing to try new things. The association between sex and creativity. Some studies have suggested that sexual activity can stimulate creativity and problem solving. The release of dopamine and oxytocin during sex may enhance cognition. Science of kissing. A kiss can activate up to 34 different muscles in the face and burn between two and five calories per minute. The internal clitoris. The clitoris is not just the small visible button at the top of the vulva. It has an internal structure that extends into depth. Stimulation of the internal clitoris can be an additional source of pleasure for some women. Dolphins are known for their active and versatile sexual behavior. They engage in sex for pleasure, to establish social bonds, and occasionally in homosexual activities. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. Hormonal effect on desire, sex hormones, such as testosterone and estrogen, play a key role in sexual desire. Changes in hormonal levels can affect libido. Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Evolution of contraceptives. Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Facial hair. Features like sideburns, mustaches, or beards can also be attractive depending on individual preferences. Hypersexuality is a condition in which a person experiences a significant increase in sexual desire. It can be debilitating, and requires treatment if negatively affecting someone's life. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Influence of smell on attraction. Smell plays a significant role in sexual attraction. Certain pheromones and body odors have been shown to influence attraction between individuals. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Half man, half woman, hermaphroditism is a condition in which a person is born with both male and female physical characteristics. While uncommon, it sheds light on the diversity of human biology. Sexual Motivations, the University of Texas, conducted research identifying 237 different motivations for having sex. Interestingly, having children and relieving tension are no longer the main reasons. Other motivations include getting closer to God, burning calories, returning a favor, changing the topic of conversation, and even getting rid of a headache. This study demonstrates that human sexual motivations are extremely complex. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. Female orgasm in mammals. 
While the female orgasm is common in humans, it is less common in other mammals. Its function in reproduction remains a topic of debate. Paraphilias are patterns of atypical sexual attraction. Some examples include object fetishization, voyeurism, watching others have sex, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, domination, submission, sadism, and masochism. Paraphilias can be harmless as long as they are practiced consensually and safely. Personal care, personal care, including hygiene, style, and health, can also influence attraction. Posture and body language, Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive as they convey confidence and self-esteem. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Sexual records, wondering about the female sexual record, American porn actress Lisa Spark Sachs claims to have had sex with 919 men, according to the Guinness World Records. In a scientific study, 134 orgasms were recorded in an hour in a woman, while men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms in the same period. Relationship between pornography and addiction. Pornography addiction is a debated topic in the scientific community. Some people may develop a dependence on excessive pornography consumption, but not all consumers become addicts. Sense of responsibility. The ability to take on responsibilities and commitments in life, whether at work, in a relationship, or in the community, is valued. Sex in nature or outdoor sex can be an exciting experience. However, it's important to remember legality and respect for privacy and the environment. Tantric sex is a practice that focuses on emotional connection and deep intimacy. It emphasizes control of arousal and can lead to prolonged and satisfying sexual experiences. Sex and sports, regular physical activity can improve sexual function and performance. Exercise can increase stamina and blood circulation, often translating into better sexual health. Sex and mental health, mental health can affect sexual life. People experiencing depression, anxiety, or other disorders may undergo changes in sexual desire. Adequate therapy and support are essential. Sexuality and the elderly. Sexuality has no expiration date. Many older people continue to have sexual relationships and enjoy intimacy in their golden years. Erotic dreams are common and can trigger sexual arousal during sleep. Sometimes, erotic dreams reflect sexual desires or fantasies. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, Sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Couples therapy is an effective tool for addressing sexual issues and improving communication in a relationship. It can help couples overcome challenges and strengthen their emotional connection. Speed of arousal, Men can have a complete erection in just 10 seconds, and sometimes they only need to look at something that stimulates them for a few seconds. In contrast, women require stimuli more related to the brain, such as emotional intimacy and connection. Vibration and therapy. Vibrations are used in sexual therapy to treat issues such as erectile dysfunction and anorgasmia, Vibrating sex toys can be effective tools in therapy.